Bye guys. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. So, so give it to us, JD. What are we talking about today? We are talking about Mountain Park Ranch in Ahwatukee. Yes. Awesome. I love the community that I live in. I don't personally live in Mountain Park Ranch. I live in a, a smaller, much, much, much smaller neighborhood okay. right across the street. Um, but I drive by it every day. I drive by their amenities. And of course, I live in the wonderful community of Ahwatukee and enjoy that very much. So mm -hmm. I'm excited to dive into this today. So where are we talking? What's the area? So do you want me to share the screen with that, uh, the picture? Yeah, it's a great about? picture. Okay. It's an awesome so this visual. is a in on the neighborhood. Um, the general area, it's, it's technically Phoenix. Um, right. But... It's just south of the mountains, which is really cool, of South Mountain. So it's really cool because it's kind of exclusive. Um, so here is a picture of the neighborhood. Just north of here is um, South Mountain. So I know you like to hike a lot there, right? Yeah, and if you happen to be up by me, so that would be right where your cursor is, kind of that 36th mm -hmm. Street and Knox area. I live mm -hmm. right across the street. I live right across Knox from there. Um, yeah. The War Paint Trail is super close. I'm there. I, I mean, if I'm on a bike, I can be there in five minutes. If I'm walking, you know, maybe 10 or 15. It's a huge hill, so it's a great workout to get up there. There is a bunch of trailheads that are really, really close to that area, and I know further west there are too. Is War Paint the one that Matt loves? Yeah, so he gets on with his bike right at, right about at War Paint, and he picks up desert something. It escapes me at the moment, but it's a huge trail on South Mountain. Oh, cool. Okay, so this is um, the neighborhood. It goes from 44th Street all the way to 20th Street. Um, and then basically from South Mountain down to Fry. So it's actually a good chunk of Ahwatukee. <laughs> Big, huge chunk. Yeah. yeah. And it's right there in the heart of everything. So you're really not too far from the 10. Um, right. You know, it takes me like, I got to kind of wind through a couple of little streets to get there, but probably takes me like five or seven minutes to get to the 10 mm -hmm. and about the same to get to the 202 from where I'm at. And now the 202 goes through. So like, if you want to go to the west side, go to like Cardinals game, stuff like that, you just shoot that all the way around and you it's miss actually, all the traffic. Yeah, it's actually been phenomenal. I think that it hasn't been discovered yet because it's like the road less traveled whenever I'm on it. It's really wide open. Um, never, ever hit a traffic jam there yet. Fingers mm -hmm. crossed. Um, but, you know, when I'm going to go and see our west side people, um, you know, our West Side clients and everything, right. it is a lot easier for me to get over there using mm -hmm. the 202. I'm yeah. seeing myself on the screen twice here. Oh, are you on there twice? Okay, I'm going to stop sharing, but that's the general area, um, just to give you an idea. Um, okay, are we back to normal? Now we're back. <laughs> okay. I'm like, there's two of me. There either needs to be a map, a picture, or JD's face. Like, nobody right. needs to see two of me at any time. <laughs> You look great, especially since you had your birthday yesterday. Thank you. Thank you, the big 42. It was so fun. Yeah, it was a fun day. We had a good time. Um, so, yeah, so Mountain Park Ranch, pretty close to, like I said, um, the War Paint Trail, if you're up by me in that section of Mountain Park, uh, Mountain Park Ranch, or there's also the Mountain Park Ranch Trail. Um, mm -hmm. The Sidewinder Trail, there's there's a few of them. It's it's phenomenal to live close to the mountain, especially if you're the outdoorsy type. For sure. Um, I saw, so on your, um, actually, let me screen share one more time because I want to show something with the trails that is on your blog post, actually, and on the Awatuki Mom. The Awatuki okay. Mom, yeah, that's me. Okay, so. You just, you just blew my cover and told everybody on the Awatuki Mom. I know. That's okay. <laughs> so this one's. <laughs> Your post is from a few years ago, actually, um, and a beautiful picture of the neighborhood. Thank you. And there's nine sub-communities. Um, and then check out all those trails. Yeah, that's a great map. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, thank you for bringing that up, and we should probably link that blog here in the show notes, yeah. because that map really does give you a good idea of the trailheads. Mm -hmm. I love that there's a trail in the neighborhood. Like, yeah, the mountain park so cool. trail. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, we're back. <laughs> and we're back. So let's right. talk about the properties. So age of homes um, in that community, it's quite a swing, isn't it? Yeah, 1985 to 2015. So like 30, 30 years. years swing. Yeah. 30 years, I think. Right? Because I keep thinking the 90s were like five years ago, but no, it's 30 years. <laughs> no, JD, the older we get, the more time goes by quickly. <laughs> yeah, so 85 to 2015, so it's a good mix. Like if you if you like older homes and those kind of styles and um, to newer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we've got price ranges kind of across the board. I mean, you can get in, um, you know, I think right now, what do we have? Five active properties in all of yes. Mountain Park Ranch, which is not a lot. Um, but I'm from memory, if memory serves me right, we're going from about 400,000 to about 3.3 million in terms of availability. Is that right? So yeah, for actives, there's five, 400 to 3.3. Um, here, let's share again. And then you can see, so these are the active listings. Um, here's, so here's the lowest, 400. It's a two bedroom, two bath, um, 1,300 square feet. So it's a good starter home. Mm -hmm. um, I'll just show a few pictures. Oh, cute. I love the windows on those, those years. Yeah, um, it looks nice and bright. Oh, yeah, it's really cute. It really um, cute. Then it, when you go up to 3.3, .3, whoa. <laughs> uh, here, oh, that's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Wow. Incredible. And then yeah. there's one for in the sevens. Oh, see, this, um, stop right there. This is what mm -hmm. I wanted to point out. And the one that mm -hmm. is available in the sevens has the same, uh, has a similar situation. Uh -huh. So a lot of these homes, or not a lot in the grand scheme of how many homes there are in the neighborhood, it's not a lot, but a handful of these homes back up mm -hmm. against the preserve. Yeah. Which it's is really, really, cool. really nice. I mean, you're going to hear the coyotes at night. You're probably mm -hmm. going to have some critters to deal with. I mean, it's yeah. always easy, let's face it. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just so nice and it feels yeah. like your backyard is so expansive when you're up yeah. against the preserve like that. Yeah. And it's so close to things like it's, it's Phoenix technically, but like, you know, everything's close, but then it feels more, um, secluded, you know, like you don't That's have to go to like far Northeast Scottsdale to get that. That's the truth. Um, we, we are right in the city. I am pretty much 35 to 45 minutes from uh, 30 to 45 minutes from anything I, anywhere I want to be. Yeah. Um, and it does feel like more of that kind of small town. I come from a very small town in, in Northern mm -hmm. New Hampshire. There were 9,000 people in the town that I grew up in. I mean, let's face it, you know what I mean? Move out here and there's like 5 million huge culture, sh culture shock. But what yeah. I love is that I can have the city and I can have the conveniences of the city, mm -hmm. but still feels kind of small townish because yeah. you know we know a, a and I know a lot of people know like the parents of their kids' friends and stuff like that. Like mm -hmm. that's not any different. But you see them, you see them out at the grocery store, yeah. you see them at the park, and it just kind of feels tight knit. I love that, and there you can see on the you know like the Facebook pages that. People look out for each other, which is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, here's that one for 720. Let me show you. Not as good pictures. For yeah, sure. the pictures aren't fantastic, but no. I love the cul-de-sac, cul right? And then it backs the preserve. Yeah, that's so gorgeous. It's perfect for hiking. Um, okay, let me unshare. <laughs> <laughs> share, unshare, share, unshare. Um, so those are some of the, the active properties that are currently available. Of course, it's, you know, no big surprise out there. Inventory levels are down, although they are ticking back up a little bit, people. So keep that in mind. Um, that is a good thing for buyers for sure. Let's talk about the types of homes in the community. So we've got um, like townhomes. Uh, oh, there's apartments too. With those small um, side yards, you got the yeah. townhomes, you got the condos. Yeah, 
And then those single families with larger lots, all the way to luxury, like the ones we just saw. Yeah. So it's a good mix. Yeah, it's quite a mix. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Types of HOA. So their, um, their HOA is super cheap. Super low. I was like, dude, they have three pools. And the HOA is like generally 175 semi-annually. So that's every mm -hmm. six months, which mm -hmm. in my neighborhood has 125 a month. You right. Know, and you have tons of amenities. Um, so that's really cool. Yeah, it's really inexpensive. And even in like the gated communities or, you mm -hmm. know, the luxury communities, those higher end portions of Mountain Park Ranch, they've got two HOA payments. Right. Um, and so some, right, some of those guys are paying 93 a month plus the semi-annual. But still, when you compare that to other places around the valley that offer the same thing and have the same yeah. conveniences, it's really right. inexpensive for what you there. get. I'm wondering how they, I guess because it's so big, they have so many people paying into it that they don't have to charge a ton. That's my guess. And my guess is also when it started. So when those pools were built, I mean, this is, we're talking, you know, over 30 right. years ago now, well over 30 years ago at this right. point. So I'm kind of thinking, hmm, you know, maybe those bills ended up getting paid for pretty much. Right. Cause the new, new communities probably spend a ton on pools. Right. Yeah. Those are there. So that's cool. Especially this day and age when any material that you can possibly need to build anything is ridiculously priced. So. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk about what the HOA offers. Um, so they've got biking, walking paths, playgrounds, tennis courts, um, three pools, um, hot tubs, and then um, lot, lots and lots of trails. So, well, we said biking trails, but I love that. Yeah, they're cute too. So, um, you know, depending on where you're at in the community, you'll see, mm -hmm. like you saw that picture of the fountain. Yeah. In one of the little lakes. Like there's just mm -hmm. cool water things all over the place. It's very, very tastefully done. It's a real nice yeah, community. Yeah, very scenic. Yeah. How about schools? School. So, um, Kyrene is the elementary and middle school district. Mm -hmm. um, very highly rated. Um, mm -hmm. The high schools are, they're actually Tempe high schools, but I mean, Tempe is, it's just, it's expansive, but there's Desert Vista High School and Mountain Point High School that are close those, by. Yeah, those are in Ahwatukee. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I know the schools are weird, like out by us, you know, it's like a different town name, district or whatever, but they all kind of, it's all kind of weird. But yeah, so it's Tempe High School. Um, it's confusing. I know. <laughs> But uh, a lot of people love the Kyrene Elementary Schools. Like, it's yeah. that's hugely popular. People ask that all the time. Totally agree. My son's in Kyrene. Um, anywhere you go, you're going to have things that, I mean, you like and you don't like, right? So mm -hmm. I'm not saying, like, I love everything about them, personally speaking. Mm -hmm. um, but my, my son has excelled in this district. He's been in the district now for two years. He loves it. Um, mm -hmm. The communication between the teacher, principal, and all of that, you know, like the day-to-day the -day things are yeah. pretty awesome. I have to say they're mm -hmm. pretty fantastic. Yeah, I mean, they've been around for a bit, so they've had time to kind of iron out things. Right, right, mm -hmm. right, yeah. Um, where are we now? Shopping. There's so much shopping over there. So I would say Ray and I-10 is the biggest shopping yes. area over there. Um, you got everything. Um, lots of restaurants in the area, too. Oh. So Phillies. Your, you told me a few of your favorites. Phillies, Sushi, sushi Ken. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't even talk today. CK's Cold Beers and cheeseburgers, mellow mushroom, pita jungle, Zeke's pizza. Um, there's a lot. There's a thousand of them. Pomegranate Cafe, I forgot to tell you, that's yeah. another favorite of mine. They're very focused on vegan friendly, mm -hmm. uh, you know, menu items, and yeah. it's phenomenal there. Anything you eat there is great. You know what? My favorite bagel shop is in Awatuki. I'm kind of jealous because I told him he should open up out by us. Oh, but, is it uh, Ganache? No, the Bagel Man. Oh, where is that? Ken and um, Elliot. 
Elliot. Okay. So he is actually from my hometown. Oh, no kidding. So I grew up going to their location in my hometown. And then one day when I was back in Jersey, I was like, dude, you guys should open up out in Arizona. And they're like, he did. And I was like, oh, my God. And then I came in and he recognized me because I had been going there since I was a little little one. Oh, and too funny. So cool. Very popular. They always have a line out the door. They're amazing. Yeah, yeah. There's also Sakana is right by there. Um, yeah. on Elliot and the 10 also the yeah. nosh I never mentioned another great bagel bagel yeah. sandwich shop that place is awesome yeah. that's right by Phillies and biscuits too we just went there yes biscuits Gosh. is a great breakfast There's place so much food. <laughs> There's so much food um but for shopping too like so you've got everything at Ray and the 10 it's like all the big stuff you know like Best Buy Target all that um but then just a few miles south is the Phoenix Premium Outlets. Yep. Those are super cool. There's a lot there. There's a lot there. I like that it's outdoor, yeah. which is really nice. And honestly, it's a hop, skip, and a jump. I mean, you just shoot down right. the 202 and then keep, you know, it's right yeah. there. It's right. Super close. Um, and then I saw, so they are building a bunch just south of the 202. Mm -hmm. So there's there's actually a huge plan for, like, a sports complex, um, neighborhoods, uh, and then like commercial stuff. I think they they started on the commercial stuff already, but I that know must that be what I see because I see dirt moving around yeah. and all of this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. They said that the 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 Indian community has benefited so much from that two hundred two expansion mm -hmm. that they're starting to build down there. That's it. It is. It's going to be insane like, because prime real estate. Yeah, I mean, drive along the whole 202 down there. Yeah. There's nothing on that side. I know. It's gorgeous, too, like the mountain views and everything. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we also have some feedback from neighbors. Um, the, the bulk of the feedback is that they love how quiet it is, friendly neighbors, and that it's close to all the freeways, which mm -hmm. I totally agree with. Um, and... Almost everyone has said they love the amenities for how cheap they are. Like, mm -hmm. these are great amenities, but also, like, affordable. So right. that's, like, the everyone was like, oh, I love how low the HOA is, and I love, like, what we get for that. Yeah, that makes a huge, I mean, that's a huge big deal. It makes a difference, you know? That's your monthly pay payment you're talking about. So. For sure. Um, and then, like, they love that it was close to the trails. Yeah. It's good yeah. for staying active for sure. I, I really miss, so when I first moved out here, I lived in like North Phoenix, so it was close to the mountains up there. And I used to go all the time. But now mm -hmm. that we live further, it just doesn't happen. But you guys are out there all the time, which is awesome. Because it's easy. Because yeah. you can just walk out. You don't have to get mm -hmm. the kids ready, get the car packed, pack, you know what I mean? All yeah. the crap that you need. Get to the place, find right. parking, and then do your hike. Like, I just go yeah. hike. So yeah. it makes it a lot easier. Uh, I totally agree with that. I love that the airport is super close. So uh -huh. Phoenix Sky Harbor, I mean, you know, we don't leave a ton, but when we do, that's really convenient. It's it's mm -hmm. a much less of a taxi um, fare than right. my friends that live out in East Mesa. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hopefully they get some more carriers at Mesa Gateway, but yeah. 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 <laughs> I totally agree. <laughs> Awesome. Well, there we have it, folks. That was Mountain Park Ranch in Ahwatukee. If anybody has any questions, certainly pop them on in the replay, and we'll be circling back to answer those. Thank you, JD. Thank you. Bye. All right. Bye.